time to stay focused, man. It is time. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It's time to decide f clubs, f partying, f trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you are gonna fly. When you are misunderstood to the point where people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the fucking gym at one o'clock in the fucking morning? What's wrong? When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. Do the work now and all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole nother stratosphere. You got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were gonna get tired. They were gonna get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. I'm not gonna do that stuff. I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna keep getting wide. I'm gonna stay relentless. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flipping day where you sit there and say, take a damn week off, go on vacation. Why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months? Please, let me catch up. Because hungry people, they're just more urgent than everybody else. Oh. Oh, you don't need to work on weekends. Why do you work so hard at night? Why do you get up so early and do that? Why do you train so hard? Why are you reading all these books when we're out drinking beer? When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you going to be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always got to get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. Anybody ever tell you, hey, look, just be satisfied with what you got? No, don't believe them. Get them away from me. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. While they go party, you grind. While they go spend their money, you go make it. While they criticize and make fun of you, you work endlessly to shut them up with your results. Don't kill them with kindness. Torture them with success. The best revenge is massive success. All the bad things happening around you and what challenges you face now, you've got to believe in your heart of hearts that you can do it. It's going to be a dog fight. And if you're soft, you want to get out now. This is where you're like, I quit. Whatever you want, you got to be willing to accept whatever come with it. Like adversity is adversity, opposition is opposition. But it's not so much about the opposition and the adversity that we face as it is about the perspective that we have about the opposition and the adversity that we face. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, come on in. Oh, you want this? Oh, great. We want to give this to you. You're such a nice person. You're doing it for your family, aren't you? Great. No, no, life isn't like that. No, many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you will want. And they'll say, no, you don't have enough collateral. You don't have enough credit. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless and I'm going to go all out. I'm going to be relentless. I don't care how many no's I encounter. I refuse to be denied.
I challenge you to fight, to work, to not stop here, to believe so heavily in your aspirations that you too will not fear the word no, but instead you will choose to welcome it. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there, I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrender. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me, to bring my talent out here, to make a contribution to life. But is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yeah. Yes, your life is worth it. Our biggest challenge is to look at our own lives and ask the question, how am I holding myself back? Am I being as creative as I need to be? Am I using every resource I have? Am I turning up every rock to find what I'm looking for? Am I being unstoppable? Am I being relentless? The only thing that holds you back is the thing between your two ears, your own mind. If you can increase your self-belief and see yourself doing better, you will. And the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, welcome to the big leagues. If you feel like you're under heat, praise God. If you feel like you're being pressured, praise God. But when God looks like he's pulling you back, eventually he's going to let you go. And the farther he pulls you back, the farther he pulls you back, once he releases you, boom. So when life happens, I don't just sit there and cry. I buck back. I buck back. We've come too far. We've been through too much. We've seen too much. We've had too many victories. We have seen defeat. We've looked defeat in the face and we've overcome it. We've come too far to give up now. We've come too far to be negative now. We've come too far to start overthinking now. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. See, most people go at it tentatively. They don't give all their stuff. They don't concentrate. You can't make a basket unless you shoot the ball. You can't hit a home run unless you take a swing at it. Most people won't even take a swing. If you want something, you've got to be relentless. You've got to decide, I deserve this and I'm going to have it. And you go all out to get it. The spirit of resiliency, the spirit of grit, it's in your DNA, it's in your blood. Overcoming is in your blood. Getting through adversity is in your blood. We need to focus on where we're going, not where we come from and what's happening. You gotta tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You gotta tell bankruptcy. You gotta tell divorce. You gotta tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. You'll think, this is it for you. And other people will think you're done too. They'll be telling you to give up. And people you thought that would support you will turn against you, they'll criticize you, they'll tear you down. Your life will be full of darkness and you won't see a way out. But when you're down in that hole, I want you to remember something. The only person who can save you is you. Your job in this moment is to muster up enough strength to push yourself back out of your negative pattern of thinking and into the arena of life once again. If you spend 30 minutes thinking about the fact you can't do something, I need you to spend an hour dreaming about the fact that you can. What's the worst thing that can happen if I decide to take a chance on me? People laugh at me, I lose all my money, so I can come back again. See, my wealth is not determined based upon what I have, my wealth is determined based upon who I am. That's why I want you to increase your goals dramatically. And I don't want you to ask yourself how you're going to do it, how is none of your business. There's a reason we're told to walk by faith and not by sight. The reason we're told to call forth those things that be not as though they were. You have power in you that you don't even know. You want to develop an ongoing strategy, a plan of action of self-empowerment. So you've got to listen to music and speeches that can uplift you. Read books to strengthen your thoughts. Watch movies that fire you up because you're gonna constantly have low moments where you won't wanna keep going. You'll wanna just fall apart. So you've gotta control what you let in your mind and reprogram it with positivity. 
If you don't program your mind, life will program you. Monitor your self-talk and realize that you're more than able. You are born for this, that you have the power within you to live your dream. And as you read and feed your mind with the pictures and the dreams and the words that empower you, it does something to you, it stimulates you, it inspires you. And you say, hey, I can do it too. And you find yourself being competent. Let that drive you to make sure you do your homework, to work hard at developing technical mastery, of covering all of your bases, so that whatever comes, you can handle it. If you listen to what everybody else is saying, if you judge according to appearances, then you will find yourself constantly being negative. But you want to go to the other end of the spectrum. You want to know some way, somehow, things are going to get better. How? I don't know, and I don't have to know. I just have to have faith and believe that everything's gonna be all right. All I need to do is to know it, to expect it, and to keep on doing what I can, where I am, with what I've got right now. Start planning and preparing for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. If you want to come out here and reach your goals and make your dreams come true, you don't want to do it by dragging and doing it casually. No, you want to begin to put out more energy and more effort than ever before. You've got to become unstoppable because there will be many things to turn you around. You've got to think constantly on why you're doing it. What are the rewards? What's there for you across the goal line? What are the things that will make it worth it for you? My life is worthwhile. Doesn't matter what I've experienced. Doesn't matter about what I don't have. Doesn't it doesn't matter about what I've gone through. What's important is that where I am right now, that I live life and I experience my life fully. And you owe it to yourself. So when you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. Life happens. The unexpected. The uncalled for. The unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally. Damaged spiritually. You're going to lose loved ones. You're going to get fired. Your house going to get foreclosed on. Somebody going to give you a notice. The bank going to lose your money. Somebody going to steal something from you. Your car going to break down. All that's going to happen. If you saw, you ain't going to win. I'm sorry. Because the devil is busy. The devil going to throw hardship your way. He testing you too. This ain't finna be easy. Life is not getting ready to be easy for you. You can stop hoping for that. You gotta get doggedly tough, period. You know, they send you a notice from the weather storm when a hurricane come and everybody gotta evacuate. In order to be successful, sometimes you can't evacuate. You gotta board up the windows, you gotta stay and protect what's yours. You can't quit now. I don't care if you don't have the money, and you don't have the help, and you don't have the family for it, and you don't have the friends for it, you cannot quit. You might have to make adjustments, you might have to find another way, you might have to learn new things, you might not move as quick, you might not have as much, but you cannot quit. If I was going to quit, I would have quit a long time ago. I've come too far for that now. I will not be defeated. And I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through, no matter the price. You can get through this, because you bigger than this. You better than this. You tougher than this. And when you get to the other side, you're going to be better. You're going to be bigger. You're going to be bolder. A person's character is not judged when they ride the wave of success. When everyone chants their name and you want to be their friend. No, your character is put to the test when your back is against the wall. Somebody told you it was over. Somebody sent you home. Somebody told you you'll never be a doctor. They sent you home, you fail. Never give up. You don't give up on me. You don't quit on me. You man up, you woman up, you get your life back. When you come up against that thing, I'll do that thing. And you can't do it when you get there. You gotta already make up your mind before you get to cancer. You gotta already make up your mind before you get to that exam and pass that exam. You gotta make up in your mind when you're talking to your husband, when you're talking to your wife, when you're talking to that sickness. You gotta look at it before you even get to it, so don't you ever give up. Failure has made me who I am today. Failure gives you two choices. You stay down or you get up. Well, I'm up and I am fired up because I have figured it out. And I can stay down or I can get my ass up and I'm in the getting up business. You're not gonna die in this trial. You're gonna make it. In fact, you're gonna be better. 
When life knocks your butt down, I need you to get back up and I need you to go heavy. When uncertainty creeps in, I need you to get up and get right back on the thing that knocked you off and I need you to go heavy on it. When something doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out, I need you to attack the very thing that didn't turn out the way that you wanted to turn out and I need you to go heavy on it. You don't judge a person by where they stand in times of comfort and convenience. You judge them by where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. When you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, well, you're going to have a cold day in hell before you take it from them because they value it different. When people die, when people get sick, when something happens in your life, if all you're doing it for is a car and a house, that can stop you. But if you're doing it for your mom, for your siblings, for your family, for your community, nothing can stop you. You cannot be broken. When you have an intrinsic goal, when you're doing it because you value it, when you're doing it because you can, when you're doing it because it represents who you are, when it's internal, no mountain, no child, no tribulation, nothing can stop you. And no matter what you walk through, no matter how broken your life is right now, no matter how many times you failed, there's a power within you that's stronger than whatever's going on around you. So I'm not retreating, I'm not running, I don't care what the odds are, I'll get it done or die trying. I worked too hard to get here in order to give up now. I put in too many hours, too much sweat, too much blood, too much tears. I worked my ass off to get here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna win. I got here not because I'm the strongest, not because because I'm the fastest, not because I'm the best, but I kept fighting and fighting and fighting, and I just made up in my mind, I'm gonna get through this. You are not gonna stop me. I got too far. I've come too far to give up now. Regardless of what happens to you in life, regardless of the adversity, regardless of the opposition, regardless of the trials and tribulations, nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you. You want affirmation, look yourself in the mirror and say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I know I can. Do whatever it takes, you your biggest driver. I don't care how good you are, how well intended you are, how experienced you are. Every now and then, something will hit you and knock you to your knees. You can't stand anymore and you're on the verge of losing your mind. You're throwing a towel on yourself. You surrender to your emotions. A lot of people become discouraged. They become frustrated and they say, oh, what the heck? So you give up when you can't get up and you decide to yourself, maybe I just have to make the best of a bad situation. There's gonna be certain seasons in life to where you're in a season of just enduring. No matter how much things go well, you're going to be in some seasons of your life to where you feel like ain't nothing working. You coming down the court, clear shot at the basket, ain't nothing falling. Man, you're not crazy. This is life. There's nothing wrong with you. These are the ups, the downs, successes, failures. This is the totality and the process of life. And you can't escape it. Because sometimes we don't understand, like, what is this thing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Why do I have to go through this pain? Why can't it just be peaceful all the time? Then it wouldn't be life. You live life long enough, you're going to have some extreme stress. But what you do with that stress is what your life is about. Anybody can do well when things are going their way. What do you do when everything is unjust? What do you do when it's unfair? What do you do when your own control of things is taken from you? You have to get to that place where you let go of what is or what was, and you got to create a new. But what you really got to do is decide, I am the creator of my life. I'm not the manager of my circumstances anymore. There is something I can still do. When I think there's nothing can be done, that's when I know something can be done. Because if you're creative enough, can you find the answer, yes or no? If you're determined enough, can you find the breakthrough, yes or no? If there's no way that you're committed, can you find the money, even if you don't have it, yes or no? Creativity, decisiveness, passion, these are the ultimate human resources. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time, that's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. I want you to say, I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. 
We don't run. We gonna stand. We gonna live. We gonna die by what we stand for, and everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're a part of. I got staying power. I got staying power. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for it. You don't need no support for it. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. I don't see failure. I see grit, determination, drive, sacrifice. Failure means you're trying. I don't look at it as failure. I look at it as my first, second, third attempt. One thing in life, that's for sure. The valiant motherfucker always wins. Forget about the mistakes and failures of yesterday. Focus on today. That happened yesterday. It was an error. Squash it. We're going to fix it and move forward. We're not going to waste today on the mistake we made yesterday. Today is a new day. And though yesterday wasn't the best day, yesterday is gone and ain't nothing we can do about it. You've got to put all your energy and focus on today because that's all that matters. Because as long as we're thinking of error, as long as we're on that negativity, it's going to produce negativity. Say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes. I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes. Yes. It's possible if I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. It's going to be a fight, but at some point, you got to go take the life out of it. At some point, you just got to take that thing out. You got to take the breath out. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. You got to go get it. I think about my why. I can't quit. I can't stop. I can't get tired. I can't give up. I can't give in. My mama counting on me. My wife is counting on me. When you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you can think about them, you can go one more mile. You can go one more day at work. You keep going, you keep studying, you keep writing, you keep singing, you keep rapping, you keep boxing, you keep fighting, you keep dribbling, you just keep on keeping on. And if you persevere, every storm that's come, it will pass. I wish I could tell you that it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's going to get lighter. The weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you got to find something within. You got to find something within, and that's got to push you, and that's got to elevate you, and that's got to drive you, and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is, you find a way to make it happen. The hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. There's a power in you that can enable you to be stronger and better than anything that's out here. Once you begin to know who you are, once you discover this power, the perfect essence of who you are, that's in all of us, that's permeating our being, that enable us to be the directors of our lives, it will set you free from believing, I can't see myself doing any better, that you truly can live a healthy, happy, prosperous life, and that you can make it in what are called the worst of times. Tough times never last, but tough people do, and you are tough. Whatever it is I want, this price is going to get much higher than this. It's going to get harder than this. And I've decided in advance it's going to be difficult, and I've decided in advance to stay in. I'm going to stay in the hunt. I'm going to stay fighting. I'm going to stay busting it. I'm going to pay the price until I get what it is that I deserve. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to win, that you're going to dominate, that you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're gonna dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play.
and that takes some intestinal fortitude. It takes a decision. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided at some point I get to choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. And in every family, there's a the one that eventually shows up in a family. They rise up and changes the whole family forever. I'm the damn one. And in your family, you could be the one. It's you. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. But you know it's going to be hard. But find out what will make it worth it for you. When life drops you to your knees, your reasons will help you get back up. Why are you here, Les? Because I want to make Mama proud of you. Why are you here, Les? I promised my kids something to do for them. I'm going to give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I'm not going to give up. Go back. Go back, fool. Go back. No, no. The people that are running after that dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one. I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. If I can take it, I can make it. If you can take it, you can make it. If you can just keep believing when nothing in you is working, when all your external forces have given way, if you can just manage to somehow keep hoping, you have a chance. You just can't become hopeless. If you can just keep hope alive, you can make it. Because if you keep hoping, it is really faith. You just got to transpose it into I hope this happened to I believe this can happen. Life is like a grindstone. It can polish you or it can pulverize you depending on how you position yourself. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. Do I just sit there and settle? No, I don't. I say enough's enough, man, and I'm gonna make a change and I'm gonna keep going until I get it. You chase something that you believe you deserve until you get it. And it doesn't matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter how many times you've been fired. It doesn't matter how many people don't believe in you. you. Just go until you get it. Say it and actually mean it. Look in the mirror every fucking day and say, yeah, I'm proud of you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You are powerful. You say, if it's hard, then do it hard. I won't allow this to stop me. I don't have the option of easy. I don't have the option. And I don't think you do or any of us do. I'm going around trying to find a dream. That's a little dream that doesn't require much responsibility or not too stressful. It won't be too much of a hassle. No, no, no. All you need to do to get out in the arena of life is to say it's possible. In spite of the nose, yes, maybe this next call might do. It's possible this next job interview, this might be the one. I can do this. Every day you wake up, you gotta start with that vision. You gonna get up, you gonna get dressed, you gonna get out, and you gonna do what you've been called to do. And you gonna prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you gonna prove all of them wrong. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about what I've done. I can make it. And you gotta believe even if there's no reason to believe. When everything appeared to be going wrong, you're working on your dreams, and somebody that you love and trust decide to walk out on you, you still got to believe. When you see those things that you've been working on crumble in your face, you still got to believe. When friends who should be a source of strength and encouragement, relatives who should be there to inspire you and motivate you and tell you you can't do it, you still got to believe. With no money in your pocket and many times more month left at the end of the month than after your money, you don't know how you're going to make it, you know your paycheck's gone before you get it, you still got to believe. I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many speeches I have to give, how many seminars I have to give. I know I ain't got the money. I know I don't have the education, but I ain't gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna do it. And no matter what you're going through, as long as you still have breath in your body, as long as you're still alive, you're still in the game. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. If I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. I can do it. I'm putting it out here. I'm not gonna rest until I have it.
but it's necessary. I'm going to do it. It's on me. No one's going to make it happen for me. I get some help and assistance, but I know that it's on me. Will it be easy? No, it's going to be hard, but it doesn't matter what it costs. Because whatever you have to do, it's worth it because it's your life's purpose. And once you know that, it is done. It's possible you can live your dream. And if life's got you backed up, you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't stop. You fail a class, get back up and try again. You lose a job, get back up and try again. You put all your money in investment, get back and try again. If you start a business and it don't work, don't stop, don't quit. You will study as long as it takes. You won't go to sleep until you have the knowledge that it takes to do what you're able to do. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. If you do what is easy, complain about your situation and circumstances. Stand around and be a volunteer victim like everybody else. Surrender and give up on your dreams. Become depressed and bitter and angry. Anybody can do that. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, keep coming back again and again and again. Get up dressed every day, knowing some way, somehow, with a spirit of expectation, I can do this. If you do that over and over and over again, your life will be easy. What do you do when the thing that you didn't ask for happens in your life in the shifting seasons? You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right, and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that it can clobber you to the ground, and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Setbacks will happen, and when they do... It's okay to cry, it's okay to go home, but eventually you have to get over it and move on. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. I challenge you to see your problems as a great thing. I challenge you to start being thankful that you have the opportunity to grow, get stronger, get more focused, get more skilled, and kick more ass because of every hardship you face. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. My back is up against this motherfucker every day, and I got to go that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not going to stop me. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. It's hard to handle it. You got to fortify yourself and say, come on with me. I've got to step into it. Just find an excuse to win. Keep going. If you're going to be successful in this game, you got to have a dog within you. You got to know it's a dog fight, and you got to go get that fight. Life ain't going to be easy. Ain't nobody going to hand you nothing. You still got to go to work. You still got to compete against everybody in your industry. Life's still going to happen while you trying to blow up. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know from experience that the harder the task to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it.
when you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. These are the days that test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness, your character. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing, when you'd rather die than send another email or take another phone call or talk to another human, you got to get the job done. You got to tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You got to tell bankruptcy. You got to tell divorce. You got to tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. You so, so, sort of put a mask on your face and pretend that everything's okay when it's not, and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you, when you don't have to impress anybody and you're yourself and fear comes in maybe you have doubt in your life maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you maybe you're worried about what people think of you what people say about you just that fear paralyzes you and I just want to ask you today do you think you have hope every time you hit a low place don't those voices come back up again every time things go wrong don't those voices come back you start saying to yourself, I'm a mess up, I'm a failure, I'd be better off not being here. We just keep feeding ourselves this toxic thinking. The biggest single obstacle standing in your way to success is not lack of education, it's not lack of background, it's not lack of money, it's lack of belief in yourself. The fundamental key to success is what you believe is true for yourself. Not what you want, not what you desire. It's what do you believe? You have never changed your belief and you will never completely be healed or whole until you change the voice inside of your own head. What I've learned is that I have to start talking to myself. I'm like, Rich, you're great. You can do this. Rich, you can handle this. Rich, this is not a big deal. You're amazing. Rich, this too shall pass. The predicament that you are in right now does not define your destiny. You ought to look at every negative situation in your house and say you're a liar. Every time something whispers in your ear and says you can't make it through this, you can't take this, you're gonna have a nervous breakdown, you're gonna lose your mind, you're gonna die like your mama did, you're gonna get sick like your daddy did. You gotta talk back to those voices and say, hey, you're lying on me, I'm better than this. Every voice that said you'll never be nothing, you gotta call it out, you're a liar. Sickness is a liar. Failure is a liar. Despair is a liar. Disease, you're a liar. Can't learn, you're a liar. Can't read, you're a liar. Can't make it, you're a liar. Can't take it. You ought to call out every liar. You need to abort every voice that says you can't do it, you can't have it, you can't be it, you'll never get up, you'll never survive. Abort that thing. Push it out. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it punk you. Now, if you're gonna hurt anyhow, get some yardage out of it. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight. Break through that barrier and create new ones for you and for others to show off. Get back up and live life. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tells on fortune, stand back up, stand back up. The perseverance to see it through. The never say die attitude. But if I don't win, I showed up. I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw shit against the wall. Every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. 
The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. You need the downs to make the ups. You need the ups to create the downs. You need to feel the opposites to truly understand the full reality of the life you are living. You can dream of these things, but understand you can also achieve them. Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail. And eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want. And it's necessary. We get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary. We never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. Whatever we have to do, it's worth it. If you can focus your mind on it, you can change it. You don't like the way your life is going? You have the power to change it. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be a quitter. You don't have to be anything. You don't want to be. As long as you decide to change your mind. You got to get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I've had it with going in a restaurant, looking on one side to see what I want to eat, and then look on the other side to see what I could afford. I'd had it living like that. I'd had it borrowing money from people. I'd had it living like a cringing animal. When you don't have any money, it runs your blood pressure up. You hear me? And you've got to decide, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. And let me tell you something, you deserve it. You deserve a better life. There is more to your life than you've been living. You deserve it. When you commit yourself to do better, that's the moment you start to see real change. You better be committed or you ain't gonna make it. You have to be committed through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment. It's a commitment. It's not a feeling. Commitments don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity. Because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. The very first level is you seeing it. You got to know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like. Because you don't, you're going to compromise. Find those goals that mean something to you. Write them out, read them every day. Develop a plan of action. Make up your mind that you have the power within yourself to reinvent you. You've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. If you want it bad enough, nothing's going to stop you. Not fear, not somebody's opinion, not how hard your childhood was, not self-doubt, nothing will stop you. You can do what you put your mind to. And if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. And each new level that gets opened up, you're able to adapt a different mindset and a different approach. You can stop at that level or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. You can make every dream you've ever had a reality, but you've got to be willing to stand and fight for it. You've got to be willing to give up your time for it. Give up your peace. Give up your blood. Give up your sweat. Give up your tears. Give every single thing you possibly can to that dream. And you think greatness goes on sale, but true quality never goes on sale. The only thing that goes on sale is cheap stuff. The real high quality stuff, it costs what it costs. They're not trying to get somebody average to buy it. You got to have a certain amount of money or you ought not to be in here. Greatness costs what it costs. There is a price tag to greatness. Nobody's gonna hand it to you. You've gotta grind for it. You've gotta stick with that thing for as long as it takes and pay whatever price is required. And while you're suffering from self-doubt, other people are intimidated by your full potential. If your past self could see where you're at today, think of how impressed they would be. One of the greatest ways you can overcome self-doubt is to realize how far you've come. Maybe you're not exactly where you want to be, but you're a lot better than where you were. And the key is to wake up every single day, put one foot in front of the other, keep moving, and keep growing. You gotta have some strong reasons for why you're doing this because when you get out into the arena of life, you're gonna get your ass kicked and your reasons will be the only thing that will keep you going.
When the dream is worth it to you, you'll go through hell to get it. Who cares how long it takes? What matters is that if it's something that gives your life value, you'll do whatever's required when you feel that it's worth it. You don't need any guarantees if things will work out. You don't need to know the outcome because you know that you'll either find a way or make a way. When it's worth it, you exert greater effort and greater effort releases the creative genius in you. When you go up in there and you start going at it passionately, and working with it and working with it and working with it it will reveal its secrets to you and you discover things about yourself that you don't know right now there comes a day man everyone's gonna have this day there comes a day where being average being mediocre just fucking burns and sucks so much you can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there it's always been inside of you trying to come out but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much pain and commitment. You were scared you were gonna fail. You were scared if you started, you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it until something fucking hits. You get fired or somebody else gets success to remind you of what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never gonna be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it gets knocked down, you just keep going, keep going, you're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just that they believed it and they're willing to work their fucking ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It wasn't about the perseverance. And it wasn't about being the hardest fucking worker in the room. There is no excuse for not being the hardest worker. Yeah, someone might be bigger, stronger, faster, quicker, younger, whatever else, but there is no excuse to not be the hardest fucking worker there. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you're studying without coach. When you're putting in those extra reps. When you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And if you're gonna be the best, the cream of the crop, you gotta be it, not talk about it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you, that when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word, it ought to illuminate from you. No alarm clock needed, my passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? And what will separate those of you from the rest is what you do. I was never the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. But I will work and I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors sleep. I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed. I will be up getting after it and I recommend that you do the same. People always say you gotta love the work. You gotta love what you do. You don't have to love what you do. You gotta get addicted to what you do. You gotta be addicted to winning. You cannot work short hours. You gotta work long hours. You gotta work smarter and you gotta work harder. It's the work that you put in. The time and effort, the dedication, the hours that nobody else saw here, the sacrifices. You have to be disciplined. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted to the result. At the end of the day, the person that will surrender is the person that didn't work as hard as the other person. You gotta work harder than the other person. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, it's, it's, I can't do no more reps, you say, like, yeah, you gotta do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, you might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting in his zone. If you wanna be great, 
You want to be the baddest motherfucker ever at what you do? You're going to be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. I do things to separate myself from everybody. The passion that I have when I speak, the grind that I have when I do what I do. What are you going to do to separate yourself? If you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm going to destroy you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care how many games you won. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. And you want what these people who've given sweat, who've given blood, who've given tears, you want what they pay for and it ain't free. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe, says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there and it's me and him one-on-one, that I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrendered. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're going to be the apex, you got to be it. It has to consume you. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline. Nothing is going to jump out the fire. If you don't throw something in there, it's not going to happen. You got to learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you got to understand that greatness is within you. And you got to pull it out. You got to climb every mountain. You got to cry if you got to. But whatever you do, you cannot give up. You cannot give in. Nobody ever said it would be easy. I know greatness is within you and you got what it takes. I don't care what it costs. I will do whatever it takes to win. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail and I will succeed. It's up to you. And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, Unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. you got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices, they wake up and make another bad choice, and they make another bad choice, now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how did I get here? Choices. How did I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just you got to be powerful. It's just some stuff that you got to have stamina for. You just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going to forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. Working on yourself, talking to yourself, that's so very important. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue is going on all the time. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up! I'm in control here.
You've got to have an uplifted expression. Watch your body posture. All of these things affect you psychically. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over. That yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you could decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're gonna play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different, you walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change. When you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about, and you will lose, and I will win. What if the truth is that changing your life is one away? One decision, one meeting, one conversation, one extra phone call, one extra rep in the gym. You start stacking up those one mores. That's the separator. In life, we don't get our goals. We get our standards. You meet somebody who doesn't have self-confidence, this is someone who's perpetually not keeping promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody with pretty good baseline confidence, you've met somebody who now keeps the promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody doing superhuman things, they keep the promises they make to themselves, and they do one more. There's a power to one more. When you start stacking up those one mores, not only have you put more contacts out into the universe, but you start believing, I'm doing something most people aren't willing to do, I'm fixing to get something most people aren't gonna get. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've gotta understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul. How hard you're willing to go after something, how much focus you're willing to put in your life, and how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not gonna outwork me, so I'm gonna catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now, because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field. One season, everything. Walk off exhausted. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute and you gotta go from 70 to 120.